Well, it was just good to get him on the field, to get him some game action. Um, he knows we got a long way to go, but it was encouraging to get him out there, to get him on the field, you know, in, in, a, in a real preseason NFL game. So um, he'll continue to work um, to get better, and that's what we're focused on, just the te techniques and details of what he's supposed to do, play in and play out. It seems like he, he says he doesn't want to let the guys or teammates down. I mean, how much uh, does he seem invested in it? And how much well, it means a lot to him, you know, and we, we talk about being accountable to the team and being accountable to the group. And, you know, he knows we, you know, we're looking for him to, you know, make improvements each and every day. He coming out here, he's with Rabbit every day, you know, working to get better. And that's going to be the focus, just continue each day to just work on daily improvement. Say that again. How important is Rabbit's you know, contributions and his guidance been to uh, Caleb Harley's? It's been, it's been really good. Rabbit spends a lot of time with them. They're out here in practice um, doing their free time and just working on technique and fundamentals on top of what I'm stressing. So it's good you know, for him to hear from a guy that's been in his position, been a, you know, a first round draft pick, and now he's a vet in the league and helping him out just making this transition. He, he's taking that role upon himself, but it's not just with Caleb, it's, it's with everybody. Um, and he's been awesome in the room, he's been awesome with the group, providing leadership. Um, guys just coming out competing. Um, challenging guys and doing everything we ask them to do, their coach to do in practice and in meeting rooms and going up and showing on the field and just playing with confidence and winning the one-on-one -on -one matchups. And I like, guess when you talk to them right now, how much of that is solidified kind of in your guys and how much do you still have a long ways to go between now and September 12th? Um, those guys know nothing is solidified. Every day you walk in this building, you have to earn it. You know, whether you think you're a starter or not, every day you're competing you know, to earn the right to be on the field to start. And, you know, no matter if you're a starter now or not, that's just going to be the approach because nothing solidified. Each day you come into this building, you're going to have to earn the route, the route, the right to be out there. Like Caleb, Elijah is a guy who made his uh, preseason uh, debut over the weekend. Just how encouraged were you by kind of what he showed? You know, Shane was talking to us yesterday, talked about his kind of his in instincts, um, kind of natural uh, for him. What, what did you see from him out there? Um, it was a guy, you know, it was good because he didn't get a chance to play in the first preseason game to get out there and play significant and meaningful snaps. And he took advantage of the opportunity. He played hard. He played with get great effort. And um, he just, he competed. And you saw him on some blitz, just showing some instincts. So we was really encouraged with, you know, what he what he did in the game. Is it tougher to, to play nickel now than maybe a few years ago because of the rotation of receivers into the slot and you know, more speed guys in the slot uh, as well? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, to play that position, you got to be a really, really good football player. And we see that guy. That's the guy's a starter. He plays 70 plus percent of the time, you know, because that's what offenses are going to. So that guy's a very important position. And, um, you know, that's why it's important in our defense. And, you know, we're, we're encouraged what we saw from Elijah the other day and been encouraged what we've seen for Chris Jackson and the other guys that's played that position in camp as well. And, and all these guys need coached up. And there's some guys that arrive, you know, and I'm speaking a moment here. There's some guys just arrive with that are special in some way that they have instincts, a good feel for the game, where maybe they stand out more than, than others do when they get here. Well, that was one thing that we seen on tape when we watched Elijah, you know, at Washington. We saw his instincts. We saw just the guy that played hard and competed. And that's basically what we saw the um, other day, you know, in the preseason game. So it's not surprising that he, you know, played that way because that's what the expectation was when we drafted him. And um, that's what we saw. Go jump back to Caleb real quick. You know, he's got the great athleticism and skills. How much can that carry him, uh, you know, for now versus the, kind of the need to know, you know, more technique and the system and so forth? How does that balance out? Well, he knows I stress to him. Everybody in this in the NFL is good, and he's going to be going up against some of the top guys in the league. And just because you run fast and have good athleticism doesn't mean I mean that's a good start. But you got to play with technique and fundamentals and understand you know what offenses are trying to do to you and how they're trying to attack you. So that part is just as much as important as just you know the, the athleticism for the position. Him understanding how he's going to be attacked and the technique and fundamentals needed to play with the position. 
Absolutely. You know, that's the process. You know, you talk about a guy that's really only played close to just two years of, you know, defensive back and, you know, opted out last year and you knows just still trying to get the feel for the position and still just working to get better every day. And he comes in here with a great positive attitude. He's willing to learn. He's putting in the work. And, you know, we'll just continue to work on that, those daily improvements to help him get better. Um, it's really encouraging. I mean, Coach Vrabel put an emphasis on it. We work on it every single day about ball disruption, how it leads to, you know, wins in this league. And guys take it serious. It's not jump, just something we just go through the motion through. And it's all about once you get opportunity to make those plays, to make the plays. You know, we had a couple guys with tip picks just running to the ball and playing with effort. Basically, all three of those guys, Body, um, Jamal, and uh, it was Clayton's um just all just running to the ball, you know, the ball's tip ball, and we just end up, the ball will find you when you're playing hard and doing good things. Yeah, we, we still, you know, <laughs> there's some discrepancy on that, but either way, we got the touchdown, we got to score on defense, so that's what's important. Um, he's made a ton of improvements. I saw it in the off season, um, in OTAs when he first came back, and um, it's continued in camp. He has a um, new attitude. He's playing with more confidence. He's, you know, he's doing a good job, and I've been very encouraged with what he's been doing this camp.